Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make chocolate pancakes with caramel syrup. Who says you can't eat dessert for breakfast? This is a fun treat. You could also use it as a dessert, but I just eat it for breakfast. You have chocolate pancakes that are moist and full of chocolate flavor. Top it off with that caramel syrup and you have a fantastic combination that's perfect for your weekend brunch or breakfast. This recipe starts with one and a half cups of buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, there's a quick and easy buttermilk substitute. Simply add one tablespoon of either white vinegar or lemon juice to regular milk and let it stand for five minutes. It'll thicken and curdle a bit and that's when it's ready to use. Next, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of melted butter, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, and two eggs. I'm gonna whisk this all together. Whisk until the eggs are incorporated and everything is well combined. You don't need a perfectly smooth batter on this. You're just looking to get rid of most of the lumps. And then we're gonna stir in two cups of flour. And that's all purpose flour. And then half a cup of chocolate chips. And stir this until it's combined. All right, the batter for our chocolate pancakes is ready. Get a nonstick griddle heating over medium high heat. While you're waiting for that to warm up, we can put together our caramel syrup. Add half a cup of salted butter to a pot, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, one and a half cups of sugar, and two tablespoons of corn syrup. And then bring this mixture to a boil. Once it reaches a boil, turn the heat to low and stir constantly for about eight minutes until the mixture has a nice caramel color to it. All right, you see that nice caramel color? That's exactly what we're looking for. Then we'll add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of baking soda. Turn off the heat and stir it together. I like to pour my syrup into a mason jar for storage. Of course, I'm gonna use this right away, but it also stays good for about two weeks. Next, we're gonna cook up our pancakes. My griddle here is nice and hot, and I use a quarter cup measuring cup to divvy out my batter. I like my pancakes to be on the thick side, but if you like yours thinner, you can thin out the batter by adding in a little extra buttermilk. Now, once they start to form little bubbles and look dry around the edges, you'll know it's time to flip. Let your pancakes finish cooking until they're cooked through completely and you don't have a raw center. You can always test one to be sure. Serve them up hot with some of that caramel syrup. Thanks for watching. As always, you can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.